I'm honored you chose me to help you celebrate your graduation today. I can only assume I am here today because of my subtle and layered work in a timeless classic entitled Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo. And for that, I say you're welcome. I'm truly, truly delighted to be here at Harvard. I graduated from Boston College, which some call the Harvard of Boston, but we all know that Harvard is the Harvard of Harvard, and you can quote me on that. I have to admit, I'm very surprised to be here because like so many of you, I was pretty convinced the rapture was going to happen. I mean, show of hands, how many of you woke up on Sunday and thought, you're kidding me. I sold all of my belongings, I told my boss to shove it, and we're still here? Look, I understand how you feel. I am so mad at heaven right now. So I tried to write today's speech the way I write everything in college. I stayed up all night typing on some Canon word processor while listening to Sir Mix-a-Lot. To be fair, first I did take a nap and then I ate a large pretzel and I cried a little bit, but then I went to see that movie Fast Five and I'm here to tell you, life is like a heist that requires good drivers, an explosives expert, a hot girl who doubles, at, doubles as a master of disguise, and this is a hard, fast rule. I mean, if The Rock shows up, they're on to you. But the class of 2011 did not invite me here to sell jokes. They invited me here to talk about the recent tensions between oil traders, regulators of the Commodities Futures Trading Commission. I'm sure we all read the New York Times this morning, which posted that there may be some complex scheme that relied on some close relationships between physical oil prices and the prices of financial futures, which of course, as we all know, moves in parallel. <laughs> Hilarious. What do I know about Harvard? I know it is the oldest American university. I know it provides the ultimate experience in higher learning. And according to the movies, I know it is definitely filled with people who get rich either by inventing things or by suing the people that stole their in invention. So let me be clear. I believe everything I see in movies. And if you remember anything I say today, remember this. Every single thing you see in movies is real. So what do the fine students of 2011 need to hear from me? I mean, if I wanted to give you advice as a Bostonian, I would remind you that just because you're wicked smart doesn't mean that you're better than me. And I guess I would also want to say, good for you for working so hard. <laughs> you graduated from Harvard. Harvard. Must be nice. <laughs> if I wanted to give you advice as a New Yorker, I'd tell you, Excuse me, ma'am. Could you move, please? Don't walk in the bike lane. Get off the bike lanes, please. And I would also like to take a moment to inform you as a New Yorker and as my cab driver did recently that Bloomberg pretends to take the subway. But we all know that that's a bunch of baloney. And if I wanted to give you advice as an actor, I would tell you this. Don't do it. Don't even be one. There are too many. I mean, look, I have a lot of talented friends who aren't working. Sorry, no more room at the end. I bet you are great, but just work with the human genome instead. You're all smart and sophisticated people. You know the world in a way that my generation never did. Because of that, I realize I don't have much advice to give you, but in many ways, I learned from you. I don't have many answers, just questions specifically. Now, when I use FaceTime on my iPad and I'm talking to someone and I take a picture, sometimes the screen freezes. Like, how do I fix that? You know, all I can tell you today is what I've learned, what I've discovered as a person in this world. And that is this. You cannot do it alone. As you navigate through the rest of your life, be open to collaboration. Other people and other people's ideas are often better than your own. And find, find a group of people who challenge and inspire you and spend a lot of time with them. And it will change your life. 
No one is here today because they did it on their own. Okay, maybe Josh, but like he's just a straight up weirdo. You're all here today because somebody gave you strength. Thank you. This was a speech done by Amy Poehler.